Now traveling for pleasure as a trio, Dan, the 13th Doctor and Yaz went to see a pantomime of Cinderella, which took a turn for the adventurous after the Doctor tried something during the interval to make the show more exciting, only to accidentally summon real versions of various pantomime characters to the theater. Though Dan had to duel Captain Hook, while Yaz fought off the crocodile, the Doctor was able to put things to right using one of the three wishes from a magic lamp, and things returned to normal, allowing the time travelers to witness the second half of the real show. Dan suggested that the Doctor use the second one of her three wishes to give ice cream to all the children in the audience. Comic. It's behind you. A week after Dan began traveling with her and Yaz, the Doctor engaged a self-reset process that rendered her TARDIS temporarily unusable in order to purge it of the Flux's residue. As an unintended side effect, she and her companions, now including Dan, became trapped in a time loop at Elf Storage in Manchester, alongside the building's owner Sarah and her eventual love interest Nick. A small Dalek execution squad infiltrated the building, trying to find and exterminate the Doctor, leading to the group being exterminated over and over again, resetting the time loop each time. During these loops, Dan had a soulful conversation with Yaz, revealing that he had noticed that she had romantic feelings for the Doctor. When she confirmed it and told that she didn't know what to do, he urged her to speak her mind to the Doctor, also advising the Doctor, who he knew was aware of these feelings, to stop avoiding the conversation and feigning obliviousness. Eventually they devised a way to escape the building before midnight while destroying the Daleks with explosives in the storage. Afterwards the Doctor set the trio on a quest for the lost treasure of the Flor de la Mar, TV, Eve of the Daleks, which took them to 1807 China, where a coastal village was being attacked by a crew of pirate sea devils. Dan wandered off with Ying Qi and ended up recruited at Sword Point by Pirate Queen Madame Ching to temporarily become part of her crew. Eventually, Dan, Qi and Ching were reunited with the Doctor and Yaz as they foiled the chief sea devil's mad scheme to flood the entire earth, with Dan using a sea devil sword to kill half a dozen sea devil pirates in one blow. After the adventure wrapped up, Dan worked up the courage to call Diane, who confessed that she'd been missing him too. TV, Legend of the Sea Devils, landing in 2022, the Doctor, Yaz, and Dan investigated a series of disappearances, seemingly centering on ghost tours at Hydra Hall. The Doctor and Dan visited the hall, meeting its owner, Vera Parker, while Yaz went ghost party hunting. Dan took a phone call from Yaz who said she'd found a Roman legionary party at the hall, so they hurried to the hall, finding it seemingly restored to top condition with apparitions of Roman soldiers nearby. As they approached, the hall returned to normal, with them finding Yaz's smashed phone on the ground and a young boy, Sidney Bird, from 1942. Whilst the doctor kept looking round, Dan took Sid to Vera and deduced from the boy's recollections of the hall that the seller may be holding some kind of portal and went to investigate alone. He found the portal with the doctor, Yaz, and the missing people on the other side. With the doctor sonicking the portal open, Dan and Yaz help her get everyone across however the portal closed before she could join them. The doctor managed to reopen it and reunited with them. Comic. Hydra's Gate. The doctor took her friends to visit the edge of reality, however, there she became infected with a psychic virus which erased them. After restoring the people erased by the virus with the help of Cleo Proctor, the doctor planned to find her friends. Audio. Salvation. Upon landing at a beach for a picnic with the doctor and Yaz, Dan picked up a pair of preventicles from the doctor's TARDIS, mistaking them for regular sunglasses. These future predicting glasses caused him to first witness Yaz supposedly drowning, when in reality she would be attempting to swat some wasps a few minutes later. Dan then a man nearly falling off a cliff, which was an event he went on cause when racing up to the man on the cliff's edge. After the doctor explained what the glasses were doing Dan discarded them on the beach, unaware they were predicting that the time travelers would soon battle a giant wasp. Comic. Fear of the future. Afterwards, the group investigated the gardens of everlasting summer on a hunch of the doctor. When escaping a group of giant wasps as the preventicles predicted, Dan briefly took protection of a beeling he nicknamed Stripe, but was partially aged in a time storm when returning him to the TARDIS. The doctor later discovered that the garden's custodian, Jinpar, was artificially rewinding time to keep the long-lived residents living in a perpetual state of summer, and convinced him to stop and revert Dan, where he left Stripe with the now placated wasps. Comic. The Everlasting Summer. At some point, 
the TARDIS made an emergency landing in the third doctor's old unit HQ laboratory. Dan initially stayed inside the TARDIS while the doctor and Yaz investigated, but later got out in time to be present when the doctor, who was suffering from memory troubles due to the temporal crisis, remembered where she'd seen the room before and figured out the cause of her memory troubles. Game. Lost in time.